here. It's kind of... I don't think there's anything in that room worth having right now. I don't think there's anything in that room worth having. Got two rods, we need the third one. Ooh. It's always time for Tinder. <laughs> oh, you son of a bee dog. Sorry, I'm making this. I don't, I don't even know if I'm making this drinking game any fun because I've been watching what I'm saying so far. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's possible. I think cursing makes me feel better <laughs> in these situations. Okay, let's just kind of... Ah, no, you don't. Ah, is he... Oh, no. Ah, fuck! Ah! Ow! Ow! God damn it! can act as cover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too much vodka. Okay. Uh, where are we? There's no point in that. Nope. I'm just gonna jump, dodge, dodge. Hard to hit a moving target, ain't it? Yeah. Look behind me! Can't look behind me! Mustn't look behind me! Oh. I honestly hope he's not like Mr. Splashy Pants. Where he comes through this area. This should be the safe overworld part. They should have at least some sense in that. Please load. I'm tired of this music. <laughs> We did it. Oh. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I went to <laughs> There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But Shut it looks up. ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I don't know. Dying feels pretty awesome right now. Okay, well they said the other place in the study, the other thing. But we have the guest room to work on. So, what we're going to do is first, I'm going to go get some more drink, and then we're going to go to the guest room. And I'm going to figure out a way to cool off, because I am burning hot right now. It is very hot in this place. So, quick commercial break, and then we'll be back. So, all right, and we're back. So, we just finished storage, and we're about to go into the guest room. Explore that a little bit before we move on to that room over there. And, um, afterwards we'll head over to the whatever machine room, whatever that was. All right. I break her longer than I expected. I got a call from my sister, and we chatted away about Father's Day, so that should be interesting. But, we're back. We're loaded up with more fucking orange juice. And vodka. Whew. Still too much vodka. And it's cooler now because I've shedded some clothing, and I'm not as hot, but it's still burning hot. It's... I checked the... Th I <laughs> checked the damn thermostat. The AC's been on all day. Journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Okay. And it's up to about 80 degrees, I think it said, so. A crowbar. What is all this? What is this about? <laughs> Why would you put the Oh wow, somebody somebody ransacked the place. Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. 
The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Mm. So him and Herbert were boyfriend and boyfriend. And then, and then, uh, you know, the guy who owns this castle, he got jealous and killed Herbert. It was like, my stone at Brennenburg is the only one you'll be polishing. Oh, you can light the fireplace. That's quaint. You know what? We'll do that. Ah. It's a nice day out today. Mm. Relaxing. Is this newspaper? That's dangerous to be that close to the fireplace. Wish I had my broom. I could sweep all this crap up. Jesus. This is like the bonus round. Here we go. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs. Oh my goodness. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Oh. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Drawing. <laughs> oh, so what the hell is happening? So this random person shows up named Herbert. Door is stuck due to a broken lock. M. For mementos! Lock's broken, found another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Uh, okay. Well, I know one thing that could do it, and that's a motherfucking chair throw! Aww, take a drink. So, chair throw didn't work. Maybe a secret. Oh, we can't do the candle. Oh, this can break. Yay! Damage! Oof! <laughs> oil? Really? Really? Oil? Oh my goodness! We never get that stuff anymore, am I right or am I right? F you! things we can move, we cannot move this candelabra. That's so weird. It's like, it's the strangest thing to figure out what they choose to... <clears throat> that was interesting. Hmm. But yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna throw the book at him! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh, 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 that's, oh, oh, man. I just thought of that. I just thought of that. That's, that's, wow. I'm gonna write that down. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta get to my desk. Motherfucking chair throw. Hang on. Throw the book at him. Tinder box. Uh. And then take some rocks and be like... Uh, yeah. Okay, I got this. I know what to do. We get the chair. We get the motherfucking chair. Okay, but we gotta uh, clear the path first. But we take this chair. We discard that chair and we take this chair. And then ramming speed! 
No mercy! Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck this shit. Let's get out of here. resting in their hands. Oh, okay. So the orb is like... The orb is like the pick of destiny for this game. Like, everybody who has the orb is successful in their craft. In this case, it's the orb of kingly ship. I said ship, not shit. But take a shot for that. Delicious. It's bad that I'm not tasting the vodka anymore. <laughs> that means I'm getting drunk. Actually, what am I thinking? I'm playing Amnesia. Of course that's not a bad thing. I just got mauled by monsters. By monstrous monsters. I got mauled by them. <sighs> I feel like I should have read that, but... Uh, medicine cabinet overturned, like the labs, reached the broken glass, all the sedatives. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what that means. Sedatives. Is that a thing? I don't know. What is this? I don't even... I can't believe they didn't let me keep my broom. Oh, no monster's growling, so we're in the clear. Good work, team. Why is there always a dog barking? Out in the uh, distance. Why is there, like, another mansion down here in, like, the wine cellar? This is, like, past the wine cellar and stuff. There's yet another... Oh, dear. Oh, that's outside! I can see outside! Yay! It's not all lost. Wait. I'm still not... The wine cellar is above... I don't even know what's happening anymore. I thought it was, like, underground and stuff, but we have windows. Huh. Fuck everything I believe in. You know what'd be cool is if this picture just started like moving, like all the people started like trading and conducting business. Same with this picture. It's like if the stuff in the cave. What is that? Jesus? 